How's the suit feeling so far? This is incredible. The simulations really don't do it justice. Hard to believe you're hitting Mach 3 so easily. I can push it even further. Here we go. I don't see any problem with- Wait, why are there warning flags on my screen? We just started. Ah, well, I was a little rushed getting this ready. There may be a loose panel or two. But not to worry. Aether is outfitted with repair kits that you can use to fix light damage. You know, if that ever happens again... It won't. Then, if we're done joyriding, let's get this field test underway. Weapons free, Captain. Take these drones down. On it. to try out the railgun. I want to see how that performs. Uh, Yuto, please stay off this channel. I'm trying to watch the ammo reserves. I wouldn't mind testing out the railgun next. Hmm. Approved. Let's give it a try, Captain. Michael, I was wondering, does this test include the close combat systems? I don't think so. General? We're running through all systems today. Now for a test of the suit's evasive maneuvers. Be careful, Tess. I'm sending some targets your way with a live laser. You should be able to avoid damage to the suit by overcharging the thrusters. Now for the fun part. I thought that was the fun part. During our tests, we found in unintended consequence of the magnetic propulsion system. Wait, are you talking about when you accidentally melted half the- No, that was different. We fixed it since then. Should I be worried? Captain, I can assure you it has been tested extensively. You know, can you concisely explain yourself? Sure. All of your projectiles carry a residual magnetic charge. As you fire on a target, that charge accumulates. That magnetic field can then be destabilized by the field generated by your reactor. Basically, shoot things, get close, surge your reactor, they'll explode. Sounds like fun. I can do that. It gets even better. If you manage to get other targets in range, the explosion will hit them all. Woo! You did well today, Captain. Return to base so you can celebrate properly. That's odd. One of the support satellites has gone dark. Oh, hang on, there goes another. And another. General, all my eyes are going down. Specialist Hayes, how are Ether's diagnostics looking? Everything's working perfectly, General. Green lights across the board. Captain, how do you feel about extending this field test? I thought I'd be the one to ask that question. Ready as long as you need me. Prepare Ether for orbital flight. Let's see what we can find. Contact! Taking fire! Weapons free. Specialist Hayes, get me a profile recognition. There's no match in the database. The spectro graphics, I've never seen anything like this. Interesting. If I'm reading this right, these ships are totally uncrewed. Are they being controlled remotely? Can you hack into them? Believe me, that was the first thing I tried. Shooting them seems to work just fine. Buckle in, Captain. 
I'm seeing quite a few more on the way. It seems that they have more than one model. Specialist, run a comparison between the two. It looks like it's built on the same chassis, just with more firepower. Well, it went down like all the rest. Another new model. It's fast. If I had to guess, it's designed to put a hole in you. Don't let it. I think my thrusters can outpace it. Just need to do some clever maneuvering. This looks like the last of them. Stay sharp, though. It looks sturdier than the rest. They haven't given me anything I can't handle.
Our integrity is looking low, Tess. Don't forget to use your repair kit. Outstanding work, Captain. Return to base for debriefing. Specialist, get me a full field analysis. I want to know what those things were. I want to know what they were doing here. And how the hell they got past our sensor grid. We received an alert from Tandar. They didn't give many details before they were cut off, but we suspect an attack by the same forces that Captain Martins faced earlier. Do we have reinforcements en route? They're already engaging. Your mission is to provide support and eliminate key targets. They caught us off guard, but Specialist Hayes' analysis has been very enlightening. The enemy is entirely robotic, which explains the effectiveness of the EMP against them. I also can't seem to identify a central command signal. If there is one, it's very well hidden. Understood. What crew am I shipping out with? You're going alone. I'm sending you out in the Ether prototype. Ah, uh, Tess. It's a good thing you stopped by. My team's been hard at work polishing up Aether's armaments. I remember this from the schematics. Ether was designed to be modular, right? Right! This lets me swap out the weaponry whenever I get the urge to. Ever had the pleasure of using a giant shotgun? No. But I have a feeling I'm about to. I'm afraid the situation has worsened during your transit, Captain. Our fleet was outmatched and forced to retreat before they could get close. I'm hoping you'll do better. Investigate the planet and destroy any hostiles in your way. 
General, I'm not sure even Ether can do what the response fleet couldn't. I can handle it. If she moves quickly, she can avoid drawing too much attention. I can handle it. Very well, Captain. Handle it. Whoa! That's a massive energy surge! What is that? It seems to be a laser, Michael. It... Uh, I can tell it's a laser. It just caught me off guard, is all. Stay focused. Both of you. Right. So, uh, avoid the laser. There's a lot of damage to that planet. I'm seeing multiple debris fields. The fleet didn't report anything near this bad. Captain Martins, see if you can find a route around that debris. Respectfully, General, I think I can navigate through this. I'm picking up a huge energy signature from the planet's surface. It's moving and fast. We might not get another shot at intercepting it. Very well. Proceed. Debris field cleared. Starting surface approach. <sighs> Captain Martins, status report. All systems nominal. But I don't think there's anything still standing down here. I'm seeing that signature clearer now. That is one large ship. Captain, you are to stop that ship using any means necessary. Is that understood? It is, General.
How are you holding up, Tess? These things need to try a little harder. This is nothing I can't handle. Just make sure to take care of yourself. Yeah, we wouldn't want to lose our only prototype. Right. Gaining fast. The target is close now. Good. Let's see what's causing all this trouble. It's silent. I'm almost within firing range. I'm seeing heat signatures from multiple weapon systems. Try targeting the wingtips and see if you can bring it down. Thank you. 
Massive heat spike! Be ready for anything! No hostile signatures on scanners. The area is clear. I'll have to commend Yudo and his team. Ether is performing beyond expectations. The pilot probably has a lot to do with that. Accurate assessment specialist. The captain performed admirably. Right. Hey Tess, everything all right? Sorry, just taking a breather. You certainly earned it. Come on back for some well-deserved rest. I'm looking forward to it. Right on time, Tess. I've got good news and bad news for you. The bad news is that the new capacitors my team designed are too explosive to use. The good news is that after a bit of fiddling, I've designed a new high explosive shell for you. You're using experimental capacitors as bullets? Yes! That's just like you. Tell me what I can do with these things. I'll spare you the chemistry, but when they detonate, they unleash quite the shockwave. This will knock enemy ships around, but also emits an EM burst that can prime targets for detonation. Shall I have my team begin installation? Yudo, has your team made any progress with the wreckage? The standard ships showed nothing we haven't already seen. Basic computing, radiothermic power source... The assault ship is another story. Alloy composition is the same, but its computing matrix is like nothing I've ever seen before. Is it still active? Very. We have no idea where it's drawing power from. And our attempts to access it have been... discouraging. Meaning that three of our supercomputer banks are now slag. You didn't have to tell her that! I could hear the fire alarms from my quarters. Instead of destroying any more of our hardware, I'm having it sent to the computing facility on Caney's. General, if you give me a little more time... While I value your contribution, we don't have the correct hardware for the task. This facility does. Specialist Hayes, have you made contact with them yet? Still no response. Probably another ice storm. I think it may be a bit more serious. You're likely correct about that. Tandar was not an isolated incident. We've been experiencing attacks all over the system. All over the... Why didn't you tell me? So far, we haven't encountered any other large-scale ships. Our defenses are holding. The Caney's facility has advanced automated defenses, doesn't it? State of the art. You don't think they could be compromised, do you? After what I've seen this core do, our firewalls would be like tissue paper to it. In that case, Captain, prepare for heavy resistance when you arrive. They could be expecting us. Tess, I... I uh, my, my brother is at that facility. Whatever you find, 
don't... I can't be distracted. Not now. He's weathered ice storms before, and he wouldn't miss the chance to work on the tech I'll be bringing. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Stay safe. Give him hell. General, I've arrived. No resistance so far, but I'm picking up some odd readings. Still no response from the facility. Something is very wrong here. Your mission is unchanged. You have permission to fire on any perceived threats. Check your fire! That's a friendly you're targeting! They wouldn't just fire on you! Something must have taken control of the network! If that's true, then this just got a lot tougher.
This is Thomas Hayes of the Caney's Research Facility, broadcasting on all channels. We are under attack and long-range comms are down, requesting any nearby military personnel to assist. This is Captain Teresa Martins. What is your status? Please respond. Requesting any nearby military personnel to assist. This message will repeat. Repeat, this is Captain Teresa Martins. Help has arrived, please respond. Hello? Guys, backup's here. We'd uh, really appreciate it if you took care of our robot problem. Do you by any chance have an entire fleet somewhere I can't see? Because one, whatever that is, might not do the job. Trust me, one will be enough. Okay, Tess, don't panic, but there was just a massive viral attack on Aether systems. It's taking everything we've got here to keep it online. What did you do? I think I found our hacker. This thing is hooked into the entire facility's systems. 
Well, do what you do best. Unhook it. Oh, thank God. Whatever you did, it worked. The whole facility is coming back online. Mr. Hayes, is it? We have something we'd like you to take a look at. I'm delivering this AI core to you now. We couldn't crack it with what we had back home. Leave it to us. We'll get it done. It's, uh, not from the ship you just destroyed, is it? Because I don't fancy hooking that up to our systems. I'm told you have something new for me. Let me guess. Another weapon? Nope. I had a brilliant idea. What if, instead of simply overcharging the thrusters to avoid damage, we overcharged them more and made the mech the weapon? I'm not sure ramming a hard metal object at ballistic speeds is a good idea. It is when you're going fast enough to rip those hard metal objects in half. Well, as long as you're prepared to fix it up afterwards. The Caney's facility has finished decoding the AI core. I should also inform you that everything I'm about to tell you is classified at the highest level. Do I even have the clearance to hear this? No. The Caney's team was able to establish that mining on Tandar broke into ruins, left behind by... something. The mining tripped some kind of security system, and now it appears to perceive us as a threat. Enough of a threat that the core self-destructed before they could get anything more out of it. Apparently, that core is just part of a single commanding AI. More advanced than anything we can conceive. This technology is nothing like ours. So we can only conclude that this is first contact with alien life. Some welcome we're getting. So, where do we stand? The full capability of this AI and where its central processor is even located remains unknown. We are countering attacks on every front. 
But until we can figure out where their operating base is located... Uh, General, my comms just lets up. Status report, now! Where's the next attack? I can be ready to deploy immediately. Here. Here? As in the base? Here as in the planet. Deep White satellites just picked up a massive fusion plume. All of my readings are pointing to an enormous missile. Do we have damage projections? It's impossible to know until it goes off. It could take out a city, or it could be a planet buster. Open a line to URMF command. I'm ordering execution of the Eclipse Protocol and locking down the base. Commence full civilian evacuation. I want our bomb shelters full within the hour. What's the minimum safe distance for that missile? If it gets within the moon's orbit, things are going to get dicey. Why do you ask? Yuto, prepare the ether mech for deployment. I'm taking this thing down. Things are not looking good. That missile is carrying a heavy escort, and our fleets have been caught out of position. I'll send support if it becomes available, but you need to disable that missile on your own. And Captain? Yes? If you can't stop it, you need to detonate it. Any means necessary. But, General Burns... I understand, General.
Running out of time, Tess. I really hope you have a plan to stop this thing. Not yet. I'll figure that out when I get there. We're running behind on evacuations. If you can't stop it, you need to at least slow it down. Yes, the missile just accelerated. I've just about caught up to it. Michael, out of the way! Sorry, General, but I need to speak with Tess. I'm here. Talk fast. The missile. I found some weaknesses in its structure. Hit those and you can knock it apart without triggering the warhead. I'm uploading targeting data now. This is good, really good. Uto, General, you can count on me. 